One of the largest saltwater crocodiles claimed to have been measured is a 32-footer from Mackay, Australia. A few sources claim this to be the longest crocodile ever measured in the country, but what are the facts surrounding this monster? Let's begin with when and where the crocodile was shot. The story goes that the crocodile was shot in the 1880s and killed in the Pioneer River. It was shot in the veranda of the Riverview Hotel, now known as the Leichhardt Hotel. The name of the man who gave the killing blow to the crocodile is different depending on who's telling the story. However, they are all similar. The names are Jack O'Brien, James O'Brien, and Jim O'Brien. Given the fact the names are also close to one another, and Jim is short for James, I think there was just some slight misremembering about the name of the person. For this video, I will just be calling him Mr. O'Brien. One source I've read has said Mr. O'Brien was an owner of a pub tied to the hotel. The rifle he shot the crocodile with is also up for debate, but seems to be a high-powered rifle. Once the crocodile was pulled to shore, the story becomes muddy or different depending on who you ask. The following details come from something historian Terry Hayes discovered, saying, quote, I found a paragraph in what I think was a 1957 paper, roughly about a man visiting Mackay and his father was a manager at Marion Mill. Hayes said the man in the paper stated the 32-foot crocodile was brought into town by a wagon. The person who brought the crocodile was a showman and had hit the road with the crocodile. Therefore, it can be implied that other towns saw the beast. For at least Mackay residents, the huge crocodile was a major event, as kids were given the day off school to see the crocodile. However, it should be noted that in this version of the story, the man who shot the crocodile was, quote, a ranger or someone similar, which conflicts with the account of a pub owner killing the crocodile. Either way, one thing that is consistent with the story of this huge crocodile is that it was skinned, and the hide of the reptile was displayed at the hotel. A few sources show consistency that the skin was shown off at the pub connected to the hotel for several decades. And Adrian Lambeth was quoted saying, quote, Guinness Book of Records measured it in the 1980s, but due to the skin being stretched during curing, the true length could not be accurately measured or so the story goes. While this has been the only source to claim this, the year of the attempted measurement taking place in the 1980s is plausible. A book titled The Guinness Book of Animal Facts and Feats was released in the 1980s, and the book did discuss crocodiles, so it's possible Guinness was interested in the skin for their book. As for what happened to the skin also depends on who you ask. Lambeth was also quoted saying, quote, the skin used to hang on the wall of the old Leichhardt Hotel, until some heads broke in and stole it. Chantel Hoey was quoted saying, apparently the skin hung in the pub for a very long time, until it was sold slash donated to a British museum. Ian Idris in one of his books stated that the skin of a 30 foot crocodile had been taken to a British museum, but he seems to indicate that this was a separate crocodile from the Mackay monster. Given the fact Idris's book came out in the 1940s, if the giant skin had been shipped out before the book's publication, Lambeth's estimate that the skin was measured in the 1980s would be wrong and would give less credibility to Lambeth's statements. One source I found stated, quote, In 1993, Councillor Bill Malloy of then Mackay City Council started investigating the history of this crocodile. He learned that the skin has allegedly been tanned and set to a museum in London. A local resident, Mr. Darby Monroe, stated that he had seen the skin at the Museum of Natural History in Kensington, London. He said a sign accompanying the display had stated that the crocodile had been shot from the balcony of the Leichhardt Hotel in Mackay, Queensland, Australia. However, when Mr. Monroe took a friend back to the museum some years later, the skin had gone. There has been debate if this crocodile existed or not, but a few sentences in 1951 from a newspaper called the Townsville Daily Bulletin claim this crocodile and its length are true. Quote, Mackay has the claim for shooting a 32-foot crocodile. The claim is substantiated by the Australian Encyclopedia in which J.D. Ogilvy, then curator of the Brisbane Museum, is given as the authority for stating the reptile was shot in the Pioneer River. If this is true, this would add more credibility to the existence of such a huge crocodile. However, any attempts to verify this have led to dead ends. Philip Holden has claimed that the specific year for this crocodile's death was 1881 but gave an interesting length of 33 feet 9 inches, which is longer than what I was seeing in previous reports. The length of 33 feet was highlighted again when a couple things happened in 2017. In the same year, a photo of the supposed crocodile resurfaced, along with the claim of a man asserting his father saw the humongous skin in the 1920s and or 30s. The man's name is Greg Alul, 
and he talked about how his grandfather took his dad to the pub where the crocodile skin was displayed. He said it was 33 feet and when they went into the pub, the skin was right across a wall and the tail stretched onto another wall. His father described the crocodile skin as an awe-inspiring sight. One of the more important statements he gave though was confirmation of the resurfaced photo of the crocodile. Quote, Mr. Alul recognized the historic photo said to be of the monster croc and said his dad had shown him the same photo. After confirming the photo, Greg said, quote, you can see the ropes wrapped around the crocodile in the photo, which they would have used to drag the big fellow onto the banks. With this picture now confirmed to show the crocodile, several accounts saying the pub did indeed have the giant skin, and official sources claiming this was a crocodile above 30 feet, I guess there is strong evidence for this crocodile existing. Or is there? While I was doing some research a few months ago, I found a lengthy Facebook post from 2020 about the crocodile. The author is Glenn Hall, who appears to be a Mackay historian. After reading through the post, it became apparent that Hall was well informed about the claims surrounding this monster croc. I'll put the link to this post in the description, but I'm about to summarize his main points. Based on Hall's research, the crocodile was either shot before 1882, in 1884, or in 1887. He also found multiple lengths being stayed for this crocodile, as 32 feet 11 inches, 32 feet 4 inches, or 33 feet. It was also this post where I discovered the claim of the crocodile's skin being sent to London. Hall's research only led him to one story from 1887 about a saltwater crocodile being shot in Mackay in the 1880s. The report goes that a large saltwater crocodile was being pursued by several men in Mackay for almost three hours. One man by the name of Mr. A. Nottingham shot the crocodile in the eye, but didn't kill the beast. The crocodile was not defeated until a Mr. James O'Brien gave a killing blow to the crocodile with his gun. The excitement of the capture made everyone in town leave their businesses to see the huge saurian. When the crocodile was pulled ashore and measured, it was revealed to be 14 feet 4 inches long. When I read this, there were three details that were similar to other reports I read of the 32 foot crocodile story. 1. James O'Brien, the man claimed to have killed the 32 foot crocodile, is also the one claimed with the killing of this 14 footer. 2. It appears that Mr. A. Nottingham, the man who shot the crocodile in the eye, was a sergeant of the Kennedy Regiment which was a militia unit based in Mackay at the time. This could be the ranger or someone similar reported in that 1957 paragraph told by Hayes. 3. If people in the town dropped what they were doing to see the crocodile, it's reasonable to assume kids at school could have been given permission to see the crocodile too. If this is the case, this would be another similarity with that paragraph Hayes discovered. With the last two details being so similar to a previous report I mentioned, it is my opinion that the 1957 paragraph was intentionally or unintentionally referring to the capture of this 14-footer. I also find it suspicious now that Mr. O'Brien is mentioned in this story as the one who killed the crocodile, just like in the claims about the 32-footer. Still, O'Brien could have been responsible for killing multiple crocodiles, and the 14 and 32 footer were separate shootings. Hall in his post goes on to explain that he personally doesn't believe the story of this giant crocodile for a few reasons. Some of them were, why were no photos taken of the skin if it was up for so many years? With interesting subjects being made into postcards in the late 1800s, why is there no postcard of this crocodile? And why is there no picture of this crocodile in general? Which leads me to Hall's opinion of this photo. Based on Hall's assessment of the photo, it was taken sometime from 1888 to January of 1918, so we can rule out this being the 14 footer from 1887. More importantly though, the image was intentionally cropped to make the croc appear bigger when it was shown in 2017. This here is the full image which gives more perspective to the croc size. It seems like two men are in the background and when you compare them to the croc, the crocodile seems to be nowhere near 30 feet in length, and probably not even close to 20 feet. So what are my thoughts on this crocodile story? Honestly, it's a mess. The three biggest problems with this story is the lack of specific details, the blending of different croc stories, and no concrete evidence. Neither Hayes or Hall were able to find any convincing evidence in their time trying to find proof of the crocodile's existence, and it doesn't help either that the only photo of the crocodile, which was verified, by Greg Alul doesn't actually seem to be the crocodile, so the credibility of his statements now are questionable. In my honest opinion, given the fact a lot of details of the 32-foot crocodile match with the 14-foot crocodile story from 1887, 
the 14 footer was just exaggerated over time into a 32 footer. Still, this explanation doesn't explain the story of a giant croc skin. That I'm sure an extremely stretched out croc skin would look big to anyone. It's also possible that there was a giant croc skin in the pub, but it wasn't actually killed in Makai. Let's just get away from the story for a minute and answer this simple question. Is a 32 foot crocodile even possible? My personal opinion is that the largest modern crocodilian species can or could have gotten in the past is around 30 feet, but the chances of a croc getting this big are extremely slight. I only say this because of some compelling historical reports I've read. Still, there is no evidence of crocodiles getting anywhere near this length. The largest crocodile ever measured was 20 feet 4 inches long, caught in Papua New Guinea. If this crocodile did exist, that would mean a jump of over 10 feet from the previous record. At the end of the day, whether or not you believe this claim, there is no doubt that this is a jumbled up story with no real evidence to look back on. Everything for this crocodile seems to come from word of mouth, which makes it harder to verify when you have different people telling different versions of the story. Maybe one day a photo of this crocodile will appear. Maybe the skin will actually be verified as real, and perhaps some concrete details will put an end to this headache of a giant crocodile story. But until then, there just isn't much evidence to say this is the longest crocodile measured in Australia. If you haven't heard, I will be releasing a hardcover copy of my book next month, which will make it available in Australia on Amazon. If you want to buy the book and it isn't available on Amazon in your country, the bookstore Lulu has international shipping so you can buy it there. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy my book, What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, their regenerating tails, alligators and sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book looks at a variety of subjects many people, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and I desperately wanted to dispel the myths that have persisted so long. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.